everyone, you are watching Paper Mario, and I'm your host, the Monsterful One. Now, today we are pretty much going to be leaving the forest, but first I'm going to show you another star piece that I managed to find in here. Oh, wait, didn't read it. Come out here. Try it again. There we are. Yeah, it was right in the middle of this carpet right here. So, wherever you pretty much see a carpet like this, try a bomb attack around there, and you might find one. I still think that there might still be some star pieces in there. I'm not entirely sure where they are, so I think I'll just leave them for now until I actually know where they are. And so now we're pretty much just going to be heading out of this forest. So let's go ahead and head on out. So just head on over here and you... No! Wow! Bugs! Get him off me! I'm lost in the freaky forest! This is so scared! Okay, what's up with that? Eek! Oh, Mario! Oh, thanks! I mean... Ah! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again! Why, it's Junior Troopa. Have you been crying? Did you get lost in there? Oh, shut up! Shut up! I'm not a lost child. Really? You kind of look like one since you're still wearing your eggshell. I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the baby! And so we get us into yet another fight with Junior Troopa. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power! Okay, he somehow spread it out bat wings. What the hell is he? I thought he was kind of like a Koopa, but now he's sprouting bat wings? Like, what the hell is he? I don't know. Aha, yeah, that's right. Let's say you like the new and true Junior Troopa. So, you pretty much just want to jump on him because your hammer won't work because he spread his wings, but you can still get him. And let's go ahead and tattle him. It's Junior Troopa. I have can't get enough of this guy. Wow, did the little guy get lost in the big bad forest? Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 1, so actually he is actually rather powerful this time. He's getting there anyway. Apparently he's grown wings so he can fly now. You'll have to jump to reach him. He's a bit stronger so it may be worth it to use any items you have to attack him. So let's go ahead and block that, very nice, and we'll go ahead and use our new star power, Star Storm. <laughs> My favorite move, I love to use it a lot because it's an actual attack move that does some very nice damage, especially if there are a lot of enemies. As you can see, it does 7, and it's able to do 7 to all enemies regardless of defense, so it's a very useful technique. And I think I'll go ahead and just get Harry Carry out camera to use Bow because of that defense, and she can only do like one attack each with her slap attack. So we'll just go ahead and jump on this guy and use Shell Shot. And we are getting him. He's down to 18. Doing a little kick. We'll just go ahead and block that and just continue on jumping and shoot Shell shooting him. I still don't know what the hell he is. Like, he has, like, bat wings, swooper wings, and he kind of looks like a Koopa Troopa without a shell. Yeah, kind of like a baby one. I just don't know. He just had to go and sprout rat bat wings somehow. And we got 21 star points, so not too bad. No, darn it, darn it, darn it! And he runs off again, back to be lost in the forest. So, no, really, it's actually pretty easy to get out of here. You pretty much just got to try and pick a wrong pick, wrong way here. I kind of picked the wrong way here, but I'll go ahead and go this way. And I'll just edit out this fight. Actually, I'll probably just run. Yeah, I'll just run. These guys aren't going to give me too much experience now. So, I'll just head this way. I know I'm kind of being a little, and then you just want to head back and you should be right there. Oh, I made it out of this forest. Let me kiss the ground. Yahoo! Okay, so I managed to get away. So, now we'll just go into Toad Town and... Okay, we got some wacky music going on. What's going on here? Well, first let's go ahead and deliver a letter to this guy. Shy Guys have been raising a ruckus all over town, but compared to ghost, Shy Guys are nothing. You're quite feisty, Shy Guys. What's going on? Well, deliver this letter and see what we can see what's going on. Another letter duly delivered. The postman's work is never done. I wonder who Bootler is. Uh, oh no, no! 
things from that ghost that says, I'll creep up on you while you're sleeping. Boo! You love scaring me. You think you're really creeping dark. It's, oh, woe is me. I'll never sleep. Get a hold of yourself. I mean, stand tall, fear not. I'll be okay here. Take this. And we got another star key, so let's see what's going on. Oh, no! My favorite frying pan! Okay, I guess the Shy Guys have gone to Bandit Tree. So, pretty much just go ahead and do a few things. Hey, you, you little scan, get your hands off. Give me back my calculator! Okay, so apparently we have Shy Guys all over the place, and what? What is Merlin doing out of his house? That is rare! Oh, it's you, Mario. What fortunate timing. Hmm, the town seems to be pretty active today, but it's none of my concern. What, did those try guys steal something from you, too? I had a dream last night, and another oracle spoke to me. Its voice was heavenly. If you keep going around and around the red palm tree in the distant desert town, dry, dry outpost, something good will happen, so said the voice of my dream. Doesn't seem to make any sense to me at all. In fact, thinking about it makes me so uneasy that I can't sleep at night. If you find out what it means, please tell me. Okay, so now we got two people in Totan that won't be able to sleep at night. And so we'll just go ahead and head on over to that little house that should start summit. Why? Because there's something there that I should have gotten last time before we started Chapter 3, but I forgot, so I'll be right back. And we are back, and if you remember this mysterious chest, we got the deep focus dash that Peach put into it last time. So, now that we got that, we can actually pretty much use that to get our attack power up by 2 when Mario is in danger. I don't really think I'll equip it, though, because... Well, pretty much not going to be in the danger zone too much, unless you're doing a 10 HP run or something like that. Then it would be a big help, but I'm not going to probably, I'm not going to put it on. It's just a waste of BP. I don't really use it anyway. So, now that we got that, what else do we need to do? Well, let's go ahead and try doing what Merlin said. So let's on head on over to Dry Dry Outpost. And now we are back to Dry Dry Outpost, and here's a red palm leaf tree. Now, this one here got me a little confused, because I thought you actually had to try and get this quiet friend here. Hey, look at this guy. Okay, what's going on? Okay, I should probably try reading it. My quiet friend here, just the door print of speech. Okay. So, actually, I thought you had to try and get this guy around, because as you see, he shies away, kind of like the shy guys, except they, except this guy doesn't seem to see him, and I thought you had to get him to actually run around this tree, but I could never actually get him around it, so apparently all you really need to do is just run around and 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 around, until he actually finally decides to talk to you. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a sec? Hey, you're not the quiet one. What exactly are you doing walking around that tree? You're making me dizzy. What? You're joking. You believe something from Crazy Dream? Oh, well, I guess. Okay, I guess. I mean, I got a message in a dream a long time ago, but it didn't mean anything. It said there's a house with a whirling roof and a large town near a castle. Maybe <clears throat> do a spin jump three times inside the house. Something good will shit happen to you. <laughs> A house with a whirling word, that's a bad ever existed. <laughs> I don't take dreams seriously. Yeah, so that's really why I thought, how do you just try and get that guy around the tree? But instead, you just have to swirl around it yourself. So we'll go ahead and head on back to Telton, and man, I love these four pipes. So we'll be right back. And now we are back in Merlin's house again, so we'll just go ahead and do a spin jump three times. He can pretty much do it anywhere, I believe. And a badge falls down. Huh? Oh, this badge is the quick badge. Change. I had no idea such a useful badge was in my attic. Mario, you are very, you are a very lucky man. You should put on that badge on. Okay, so now we got a the quick change badge, which changes your party members and attack with it on that turn. So that is, in fact, a very useful badge, so let's go ahead and flip it, except I can't because I have no BP. So what do I want to take off? I'll take off the power bounce badge because it's pretty much worthless to me now with the these upgraded boots, basically, you can do a little more damage, except pretty much just screws me over every time. So, where is that badge? Runaway pay, da 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 Oh, okay, I need four SP for it. And I don't really want to take anything else off. So, I guess I'll pretty much just, well, I can, yeah, I'll take the spike shield badge off there. I'm not going to be really fighting too many enemies with spikes now, so go ahead and equip that, and now all of that is on. 
So, now what do we want to do? Well, now that, I guess we'll probably head on over to Mario's pad next. Why? Because I believe that something good should happen over there. Wow, words are mocking me. I need that dictionary. Okay, another shot guy just ran away. So, let's try heading on over to Mario's pad and see what's going on over here. We got the shy guy running around. Looks like Luigi's trying to get it. Huh, huh. You wouldn't believe that shy guys were everywhere. They move like the wind. Huh, huh. And I managed, all I managed to do was really get a set yell. What's that, Mario? You need something? He what? Mr. Koopa Koop wants to get my autograph? See, he wants me to sign something? Whoa, cool. I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of a celebrity, huh? Wait one second, I'll write it down here. Well, of course you are. There's actually quite a lot of people that are fascinated with you, Luigi, including me. Here you are, my autograph. Give my regards to Mr. Koopa Koop, okay? And we pretty much got a little scribble note. And we can try and get rid of this shy guy. If we can't, he pretty much sticks around the same place. So if you just try and hit him at the right time here, you can probably get him. You just gotta be patient. There! Once you hit him, pretty much decides to get on away. So, now that we got an autograph, we'll head on over to Koopa Village. Well, first we'll probably try talking to this guy here, like this shop owner seems to have a shop made, so all we'll pretty much do here is just get rid of the shot guy that's inside. He's pretty much staying right around. We can actually talk to him. So that we can't really buy anything, because he won't let us buy anything, so just give him a good whack. Oh no, poor me! Well, treat your customers better then. Like, actually sell some stuff. And so, now... Now that his shop is back, we can once again buy items in there. So, we'll head on over to Koopa Village. No more detours. And now we are once again in Koopa Village, and here is good old Koopa Koop, so we'll give him the autograph. Coffin Hammer Brothers, you're a wizard, Mario. <laughs> I have so many unique treasures now, what a lucky Koopa I am. Here, take this and know that I'm very grateful. Oh, you don't have to be polite. Fellas, just take it as another single coin. Oh, what luck, you came at the perfect time, young man. Can you please do me get another favor? Yeah, but like I said before, this guy's just chock full of gin favors. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but the other day I went shopping at Koopa's shop. At Koopa's shop in the village. But on the way home, I must have dropped my wallet on the road. Look for it, would you? My memory is kind of sketchy, but I think I remember talking to that guy who listens to the radio in front of his house. I'm sure my wallet was with me then, but after I got home, I realized it was gone. I'm hyperventil- I'm hyperventilating. I must find that wallet. Promise me you'll help. So, pretty much all we gotta do now is just talk to the guy, but I think I'll probably save this for another time. I put in some good time into this video, so in the meantime, this is the Mod Triple One saying goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please leave a comment or subscribe, and I hope to see you next time, where we do more side stuff and take on the next chapter of Shy Guy's Toy Box. When apparently we need to find that somewhere. So, see ya, everyone!